As you know, this weekend at Darlington Raceway, it is throwback weekend. Not everyone participates, but many of the drivers are running schemes that were ran a while ago, throwing it back to someone. Naturally, some are better than others. Some are really iconic schemes that are run, and some are kind of obscure but they are very special to the person who's running it. But when it comes to throwback teams, what separates the good ones from the bad ones? That's what we'll look at in this video and find ultimate throwbacks. First of all, the paint scheme must match the original paint scheme. So sorry, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and Harrison Burton. Not really. As I think that this is the most important part of a throwback, that it must match the original in color and design. The second big element is that the throwback has to be a throwback that no one's done before. I know they can reuse them, but I think the more original it is in terms of how often people have thrown that back to that the specific scheme the better so sorry timmy hill and zane smith another big element in my opinion is that it must be kind of old you know it's not really a throwback if it's just a couple years ago so sorry aj almendinger martin Truex jr and justin haley but like it's not all that much of a throwback i'm sorry the next thing that contributes to a throwback being better in my opinion is by altering the number font while this isn't necessary and is more applicable in some situations than others, when it's pulled off correctly, it looks really nice. The next thing that is more applicable to ones from like the 90s and 80s when schemes started to be developed more is that the schemes must look cool in general, the original ones. As in my opinion, that just elevates it more if the scheme just looks cool naturally. A good example of this is Matt Benedetto's 2018 throwback. Now I have a question for you guys. Do you guys appreciate throwback schemes to drivers when they're young, such as Kyle Larson and Ryan Blaney from this year, or throwbacks to like their crew chiefs or something like Alex Bowman's? Or do you not as you don't have that nostalgia factor? Personally, I don't see anything wrong with it as it's really cool for those driving the cars. And I remember in 2018 with Eric Jones, this was seen as innovative. What I don't appreciate is when like the sponsor throws it back to a, an old design or something, such as Chris Buescher in 2018 or Kyle Busch this year. In general, I don't like them, but Kevin Harvick and Denny Hamlin's from last year weren't that bad. Now, which ones check the boxes? There are quite a few this year, and I'll just show you a couple of my favorite. This year in the Cup Series, there isn't really one that jumps out at me and says it's a favorite. I like the Chase Elliott, the Corey LaJoy, and the Michael McDowell, but my personal favorite has to be the William Byron to Neil Bonnet. In the Xfinity Series, they're overall just better, and I'll give you some examples. Josh Williams, 92, that's really good. The Josh Berry, 8, looks nice. Uh, but my personal favorite would have to be Michael and that's the Daryl Waltrip. That one's really cool. Maybe it's because one time I made a custom throwback for Cody Johnson in the THGS of that scheme, which was kind of fun. But still, it's great. Overall, the best paint scheme has to be Timmy Hill because he's throwing it back to a 98 truck. Okay, let me know in the comment section down below what you think makes the perfect throwback and what your personal favorite is for this year. Subscribe. Subscribe.